Hey Mount 31, I was getting a question on how you handle number 45 in your calculator. So I wanted to show you how you could do this. So the first thing I want to do is store this number into my X button. So I'm going to actually go through the square root of 3 right, divided by 2. Right, and I want to add to it 1 half I. And your I is over your decimal point, but in blue, so I'm going to hit second and the I key, and then I'm going to store that number into X, so it just saves there in X. And when I hit enter, I got that number, and that was this first screenshot here. So I've put the number they gave me in the problem. I've stored it in as an X value, and then they asked us to compute X to the sixth plus one. So instead of typing this giant binomial with parentheses into my calculator, I can just hit x to the sixth plus one. And when I do that, you see I get this number, which is negative, or is one e negative 13i. And what that's trying to say is it's the number one times 10 to the negative 13th i, but essentially it's zero. Because imagine, ignore the i for a moment, and imagine 1 times 10 to the negative 13. You would be moving the decimal place over by 13 digits, so the number would really be 0.000000. I can't, I, I, might, I lost count, but I think you get the idea. And the i there isn't going to affect um, whether it's 0 or not, because whether 0 is a real number or you have 0i, it's still 0. So essentially, x plus 6, excuse me, x to the 6th plus one is zero. And that's how you would get that to work out on your calculator. All right, thanks so much, bye.